This is Amy Agenda with me now, Liberal MP Tim Wilson. Tim, uh, a bit in this poll for everyone, but in terms of the company tax cuts, you're encouraged by that number? Of course I'm encouraged by that number, but it doesn't surprise me at all. In fact, Simon Benson wrote a column in The Australian making the point that uh, company tax cuts are basically as, as uh, supported and, and encouraged by the Australian community as marriage equality. As somebody who's always supported tax cuts and always supported marriage equality, it's nice to be in touch. Seriously, the, the clear <laughs> message out of this poll is that the Australian people actually back, are backing the government's strong pro-growth, pro-jobs agenda. We've created 1,100 jobs a day, more than a million now since the Turnbull government was elected. The sole purpose of these tax cuts is to get businesses to invest more so that more jobs can be created for the Australian community, uh, so that we can address not just unemployment, but also get movement in terms of upward pressure on wages, so we get uh, uh, wage growth as well. And the broader poll, what do you, what do you make of that with uh, Mr. Mr Turnbull extending his lead as uh, preferred PM? He got back to two points at one stage, now 17 points, but on the two-party basis still, uh, still trailing. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, it's what I've always said, which is the biggest strength the government has is the um, positive deferential attitude the Australian people have towards the Prime Minister. Uh, and they give him the benefit of the doubt, whether they agree or disagree sometimes with policy. And I think that's what you're very clearly seeing in this poll. Uh, it, on top of that, uh, you know, we know the biggest drag on uh, the, uh, the ALP is Bill Shorten because people see that he's being shifty and shady and a bit dodgy most of the time, supporting company tax cuts at one point, opposing them at another. The problem is people are just starting to realise the more they see of him that you just can't trust anything shifty, shade and short, shifty shady Shorten says. <laughs> well, well done for early Monday morning getting that out. But in terms of the by-elections, we've got five of them. Super Saturday by-elections in late July. Give me a sense of whether you think, uh, or you know, how crucial this is to testing both sides' economic prescriptions here. Uh, well, I think obviously economic um, growth and economic um, uh, opportunity is going to be the heart of all of the by-elections that we're going to have. Who's actually offering a plan? and uh, a pathway to grow the number of jobs, uh, grow the number of opportunity for young Australians to be able to secure work, and particularly who's providing the plan to actually address wage growth uh, and while keeping cost of living down. And we know that that's the government. We know that the opposition has a policy of redistribution and disinterest in increasing wages and increasing jobs. So is that going to be the heart of it? Sure, absolutely it is going to be, and that's yeah. why uh, I think people are going to respond to that. And finally, Barnaby Joyce said, uh, taking the, the interview, 150,000 reportedly from Channel 7, but at the same time the Telegraph reports that he's complained to the Press Council about a breach of privacy. How does that all stack up? <laughs> well, that's a question for Barnaby Joyce. Uh, I'm not in the habit of making complaints to the Press Council, uh, but I'm also not in the habit of taking sums of cash for interviews either. Yeah, I haven't paid you this morning, Tim. Thanks for that. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>